G'day Internet, Kale from Wakato here with another product scoop. And today I want to show you how you can get a big jump start on developing APIs by leveraging your open API specs. So for starters, what is an open API? It's a universal standard for designing and describing APIs. It's used by tools like Postman, Apiary, and Swagger. And an open API spec to a developer is a little like a wireframe for a UI designer. You can use it to collaborate with your stakeholders and get feedback before you build. In a tool like Postman, you can leverage it to create documentation, even mock servers so that your consumers can start building to your API before it's production ready. And in Wakato, you can use that same open API spec to speed up the development process. I'll show you how. But first, let's sort of set the scene a little. Uh, I'm an API developer for Omni Business Products. We're a SaaS company and we sell through three different channels. There's an enterprise offering with white glove support. We also sell through consultant partners. And finally, we have a self-service offering. And I need to be able to handle customer support cases across all three of these channels. So I'm going to build a single API for ticket management. And that API can then be consumed by my internal support team, by my partners, and by my website developers that work on the self-service support portal. I've been working with all three of these groups to design my API. Let's see what it looks like in Postman. So this is the raw open API spec. You can see it's basically just a YAML file and it contains some metadata about the API collection itself, uh, what it's called, what it does. And I've started to define my paths, the things that I can do. I can update an existing support case. I can create a new one. I can also get an existing case uh, by ID or I can delete a case by ID. And underneath each path, uh, I've defined all the possible responses that I might kick back to a request that I make to this path. And then down the bottom here, I've also defined a schema for a support case itself, the key business object that this API interacts with. So you can see that even with this fairly simple example, there's a lot of detail here about the structure of this API and what it does. So I wanna take full advantage of that when it comes time to actually build this. So let's head over to Workata and I'm going to hop into the API platform page and go over to the API collections tab. I don't have any API collections yet. I'm creating my first one. Now I can create a collection using existing recipes, but I can also import an open API spec and get started that way. So I'm just going to drag my YAML file onto the page here. And you'll see that we've pulled out of that spec file the four endpoints that my API is going to support. And if I drill into them, I can see that I've pulled out the method, the path, everything that I need here. So I'll click next. And we've also got all of our metadata here about the title and description of the API. All I really need to do is choose a place where I want my API to live. And now I'll create the collection. You can see I've successfully created four endpoints and four corresponding recipes. So here are my four endpoints. And you can see that each of them has a corresponding recipe. And I can drill into the recipes that we've created. And you'll see here that not only have we created the recipe, but if you look at the trigger, we've actually set up already the required schema for the request and also for the responses. So all I actually need to do to turn this into a working API is create the business logic. Uh, so I'll switch into one that I prepared earlier. And you can see that I can take the schema that I'm getting from the API request and actually map it to a case in Salesforce, post a message in Slack to say that we have a new customer support case and return a success response. So in just a few minutes, I've gone from a blank slate to a working API with the help of my open API spec. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.